This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. Hello and welcome to A Little Bit Fit with me, Karen Ross. Today you are going to need a tea towel or a hand towel, soup cans or lightweights. You don't want to go heavy. You want to go with the lightweights. Soup cans if you have them and water. Always, always water. We need to hydrate, right? Very important. So before we get started, we're going to do fit tip of the day. Our fit tip today is about stretching, the importance of stretching. A lot of people think, oh, it's just stretching. Well, guess what? It's really important for the health of your muscles and your joints, believe it or not. Why is it important? It improves your circulation, right? Blood needs to get into the muscle tissue to allow it to heal and regenerate. So if the muscle's too tight, the blood cannot get in and the healing does not take place. It also decreases pain throughout the body. Sometimes pain is caused by tight muscles. Tight muscles lock down your joints. When you try to move those joints, pain, right? So stretch, stretch to decrease the pain throughout the body. Better range of motion. It's the difference between this and this. So how do you stretch? You never, ever stretch to the point of pain. You want to feel tension in the muscle group that you're trying to stretch out, but you never want to push it to pain. You want to hold each and every stretch for at least 30 seconds. It takes 30 seconds for the stretch to even begin. So if you're only holding it for a few seconds, it hasn't even started yet. So you need to hold it for at least 20 to 30 seconds. And you need to breathe. You need to breathe. You need to get that oxygen into the blood. Blood takes it to your muscles to repair. So those are your stretching fit tips for today. So it doesn't matter stretch every single day, whether you're doing a workout or not, right? Shoveling, whatever. You need to stretch every single day. So we are going to grab our weights, soup cans, towel, and whatnot, and I will meet you over here in a few seconds. Are you ready to party -o? Let's go. Start easy. We have to warm it up. Chair dancing. Do whatever you want here. Just move your body. Remind your body to breathe. Gotta love those heel taps. Remind your body to breathe as your heart rate comes up, your blood's pumping. So breathe, get the oxygen in there. Nice and easy. We're gonna make it a little bit difficult, don't worry. All right, let's add some arms. Open and close your fingers. Don't forget about the little muscles. One hand at a time, one arm at a time, or both. Up to you. Make sure you can breathe though, and don't let it hurt. I'm gonna turn my palms up, and I'm gonna pull it in. Sit up nice and tall. Start with a little reach. Opposites. Oh. <laughs> I say it, but I didn't do it. I'm all right now. A 
How about if we reach it up? You don't have to reach up very far. As far as you can without feeling pain. Open and close. Open and close. Remind your body to breathe. A little bit quicker. Open and tap. Same side reach. Reach it up. Remember, you don't have to reach up very far. Don't let it hurt. And remind your body to breathe. Reach to the front. Heel tap front. This is disco. Let's roll it. Heel tap diagonal. Reach to the front. Little knee lift. All right, we're going to take it up a little bit. Back to that heel tap front. Move your body as much as you can, but remind yourself to breathe. Range of motion here. Remember, if this is as far as you can reach, that's fine. Out, out. That disco vibe going. Just dance in your chair. If you're moving and breathing, you're doing it right. Get your blood pumping and your heart beating. You should be feeling warm by now. bit of drums let's take advantage push it away now pull it in push it away breathe Pull it in. Push it away one more time. Pull it in one more time. <coughs> Open and close your hands. Push it down. Back to that disco, come on.
We're gonna start taking it down. Make it small. We wanna take our heart rate down a little bit before we stop moving to grab our weights. So bring it down. Half time. Bring it down. Nice and slow, make it smaller. Breathe, start bringing it all the way down. Beautiful. And there is our cardio complete for today. Grab your weights or your soup cans, whatever you've got going on, and your towel and your water. And I will see you back here in two seconds. Okay, let's get ready to strength train. So get your soup cans or your light weights, whatever you have for your equipment. I'm going to use my weights, but my soup cans are there. All right, we're going to start with what I call a compound chest press. And you'll find that I'm a very big fan of compound movements because we're a whole body. So using compound muscle groups every now and again is good for you. So we're going to start nice and simple. We're going to drop our weights down here. The backs of my hands are facing you. My palms are facing behind me. Make sure that your feet are well forward and you're sitting up nice and tall. I'm going to bend my elbows so now my palms are facing you. I'm going to reach out. You're going to feel your core engage right there. You're going to bring it back and you're going to release it. Up. Reach out. Bring it back in and bring it back down. Remember, control your weights, every single movement. Remind your body to breathe and go slowly. This is move one, move two, move three, and four. I'm gonna cue your breathing this time. Breathe out, breathe in, Breathe out and breathe in. A few more times. Up, out, in, and down one more time. Up, out, in, and down. And a little bit of recovery here, moving recovery. I hang on to my weights and I just swing my arms takes the tension that we just built up in our arms out. Active recovery is a good, good thing. All right, we're going to put our weights down. And we're going to go to the knee lift. The knee lift engages the abdominals. You don't have to lay on the floor to do crunches. You can work the abs sitting in your chair. So make sure that you're well forward. Bring your feet with you and sitting up tall. So we're going to lift it and put it down, lift it, put it down, lift it, put it down. Make sure you pull your toe up as you lift your knee, alternating sides. You can always make this harder on your own by doing a lot of repetitions on one side instead of alternating. Breathe, sitting up nice and tall. When you lift your knee, be careful that your body doesn't lean back. It wants to, but don't allow that to happen. We're going to do one more on each side. Lift it. Release it. One more. Last one. And release. And just wiggle your legs. Let your legs shake out around your hips. Just shake your legs out. Again, active recovery. Shake out the tension. Shake out that tension. Okay, we're going to spend a little bit more time on these next two. This is where you're going to need your towel. Doesn't matter whether it's tea towel or hand towel. 
All right, so you're going to fold it up and you want to make it so you're going to hang on to it so it's shoulder width apart. You don't want to be out here and you don't want to be too close. You want to be about shoulder width apart. We're going to add to that knee lift now. Okay, we practice the knee lift. Now we're going to make it harder. So we're going to reach up as we lift. Drop your arms to the front as you straighten your leg and then bring it all home. If this is as far as you can reach, that's fine. Straighten your arms, straighten your leg and bring it back home. I'm going to increase my range of motion as I go. And you may find that the more you do this, the more your, your range of motion will increase as your muscles in your joints really start to warm up. I call this up, out, and in. Up, out, in, or a little bit of row your boat. Up, out, in. Always keep that spine tall. Don't allow your body to cheat and lean back when you lift right here. Out and in. Breathe, breathe. Breathe. If you need to take a break at any time, you do that. Up, out, in, up, out, in, breathe. That's it. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. A few more times before we go to paddle the kayak. We're warming up with our boat. Up, out, in. One more on each side. Up, out, in. Last one. Up, out, in. And again, let go of your towel. Just rest it on your lap. Swing your arms. Get the tension out of your arms. And give your legs a wiggle. All right, our last one, paddle the kayak. Come to the front of your chair because you're gonna lean back a wee bit. So we're gonna start nice and simple. Dip your paddle, dip your paddle, dip your paddle. Keep your spine straight for now. So you're turning to the side, turning to the side. Dip your paddle, dip your paddle. You wanna make it harder. You're gonna lean back upright, lean back, come upright, lean back, come upright, lean back, come upright, and do each movement by itself. Dip your paddle, bring it home. Dip your paddle, bring it home. Dip your paddle, bring it home, or make it small. Dip your paddle, bring it home. Dip your paddle, bring it home. So there's different intensities that you can use to make it easier and to make it harder. Get a nice little figure eight pattern going here. But you wanna get a little bit of a rotational turn through that upper body because you wanna work the core. The middle of the body is really important. And what you're doing is you're working range of motion through your shoulders. Range of motion always comes first before strength training. Okay, and there we have it. So we've paddled our boat, we've done our canoe, we did our knee lift, we did our chest press, and that is it for our strength training portion for today. So put your stuff down, get a drink, and I'll see you back here for our stretch. Our hard work is done. Cardio's done, weight training's done. Now it's time to stretch it out. Remember, fit tip of the day, how important stretching is. So here we go. Remind yourself to breathe and it should never, ever hurt. All right, the first one we're gonna do, I'm shifting to the front of my chair because I want to roll toward the back of my chair as I open and round my spine. Hug around all of your loved ones. They're sitting on your lap. Round your spine toward the back of your chair. Tuck your chin to your chest so you can open through the back of your neck. 
Allow your shoulder blades to slide away from each other. Feel the stretch through the back of the shoulders all the way into your fingers. Visualize your arms getting very, very long. Open your spine toward the back of your chin. Breathing and not letting it hurt. Holding each stretch for at least 30 seconds. And rolling to the front of our chair you can either just press your arms behind you reach behind you or you can hang on I need to shift back a little bit because I'm too short hanging on to the back of my chair allowing my chest to open the fronts of my shoulders to open and stretching through the fronts of my arms my biceps once I'm here I'm hanging on to the back of my chair I'm just gonna push forward ever so slightly with my chest until I feel the stretch. You don't want to feel pain. You want to feel tension in the muscles that you're stretching, but you should never, ever stretch to pain. And then breathe. Oxygen in, lactic acid out. Breathe. Breathe. If you sit for long periods every day, do a couple of these just to relieve tension and to open the chest you can breathe more effectively and let the arms go there we go we're going to do a very simple tricep stretch depends on your range of motion through your shoulder how far you're going to be able to take this stretch but i'm going to show you some modifications we're going to start by reaching up as far as you can touch between your shoulders that might be enough of a stretch here or you can push your elbow up a little bit or you can pull back on your elbow. And again, it depends on your current range of motion. Don't make your body do something that it can't do without feeling pain. Breathe, always sitting up nice and tall. Breathe into your belly. And I'm gonna release that. I'm gonna do the other side. Reach it up as far as you can. Touch between your shoulders. Either this is okay, this, or pulling back on that shoulder, or the elbow, pardon me. Remind your body, you don't wanna lean back if you're pulling back on that elbow. Stay up nice and tall. Breathe. release we're gonna do the back of the shoulders arm out to the side you're going to put this hand on the opposite shoulder you're gonna push these fingers off of your shoulder by pushing your elbow toward your fingers so I've pushed my fingers off of my shoulder and I'm feeling a stretch make sure you're pushing on your elbow and not your shoulder allowing the back of that shoulder stretch out Breathe. And I'm going to release. Give it a little shake. The side, reach it out. Opposite shoulder. Remember, you're going to push these fingers off of your shoulder by pushing your elbow toward your fingers. Releasing through the back of this shoulder. Breathe, always sitting up tall. Breathe. I'm gonna release and release. I'm gonna come to the side of my chair. I'm gonna hang on under the side of my chair. And I'm going to reach out to the side. So my, my leg came out under my armpit. If this is too intense, bring your leg forward on the diagonal, but make sure that your toe is facing forward and your foot is flat. So we're getting a nice stretch on the inside of the leg. 
Sitting up tall. Breathe. Breathe. Breathing is so important. We've become very shallow, fast breathers, and that's affected our health in a lot of bad ways. Deep, slow breathing. Practice it every day. I'm going to wiggle walk this foot back in because I don't want to engage this muscle. So I wiggle walk it back in. I have to move my basket. Coming over to this side, I'm reaching out. I take my time, and again, take your time moving in and out of stretches. You want the muscles to stretch, you don't want them to engage. There we go. And again, if this is too intense, bring your leg forward on the diagonal and then sit up tall. Breathe. We're going to wiggle walk it. <laughs> All right. Sitting firmly in your chair. We're going to end our stretch with that push forward. Tuck your chin to your chest. Open the back of your neck. And push to the ceiling as much as you can. Have a little lean back if you choose. Push all the way up, opening the front of the body. Release the hands. And make those butterflies. Wiggle the fingers and rotate through the wrists all the way down. And there we have it. And there we go. We're finished for another episode. So let's recap our fit tip. Stretching, the importance of stretching. You need to allow the muscles to regenerate and recuperate. And the way that you do that is through stretching. It allows good blood flow into the muscle to help it recuperate, regenerate, and heal. It also decreases body pain. When your muscles are too tight, that causes pain. It also locks down your joints. So you want to keep everything moving, stretch the muscles around the joint. And always remember, don't ever take a stretch to the point of pain. Pain is not your friend, okay, ever. And hold it for at least 20 to 30 seconds or hold it for as long as it takes for that tension to disappear out of the muscle that you are stretching. So thank you so very much for tuning in. And remember, knowledge is power. And the more you know, the more you can grow. See you next time. the Rogers TV viewer response line. Email us or connect with us on social media. You know I... Operation Smile, alongside our medical volunteers, provides safe cleft surgery to children free of charge thanks to generous donors like you. That was until we fell into a pandemic. If you only knew by December, tens of thousands more children will be waiting for surgery. Please help us keep our promise and deliver smiles to